Hello everyone, just wanted to give a little update on uh, what I've been working on. Um, you see in the background here that I've got a 705, so this, this arrived at um, uh, the beginning of last week. So I've not made a QSO on it yet, so hopefully we're going to do that tonight. Um, but what I wanted to talk to you about was the uh, some developments I've been doing with uh, Adjust the Wave. Um, so as you'll probably know that normally I set up Adjust the Wave um, on the 12 meter spider beam pole um, but it's quite big it's quite expensive it's a very very good pole um, can't really see past it um, certainly for uh, certainly for getting on eight onto 80 meters but if you're just looking for something for uh, 40 meters and up um, you know I, I would have you know liked a, a shorter pole um, well I was cleaning out the garage and I came across uh, an old pole purchased at uh, my radio club and I paid five pounds for this pole and it was a wind jammer five meter um, so I thought could, could I fit I just to move to that um, and I can um, 40 meters just just fits on it fully linear loaded it, it works so it's just a bit right the six meter pole would probably be ideal um, but it seems to work uh, and it's it's listening extremely well hearing hearing very well I should say um, Anyway, um, so what we'll do is I'll take you out, I'll show the antenna, it's, it is dark, uh, unfortunately I couldn't do this during the day, just with uh, due to family commitments, and obviously we're, um, it's getting into autumn, and it's getting quite cold, hence the uh, the hat, so let's go and have a look uh, at the antenna outside. So this is the setup outside, and it's, it's hardly ideal, but really this is, all I was trying to do is was the... Um, to see if it was going to work. Um, really was what I was wanting to test was was this five meter uh, wind jammer pole actually tall enough? Um, obviously, it's a five meter pole. It's actually about five point two, but obviously we've got to linear load that, um, so it's fully extended. You can just barely see the top there. It obviously runs across, then runs back down, and you can see that the um, it's fully linear loaded. See that little this here. So the wire's fully linear loaded, and what you find is when an antenna, a vertical antenna, is linear loaded, you find that you need more out than you would if it was just vertical. Um, so this is my um, uh, adjust to wave essential mini prototype that I made. And um, the reels are slightly too big for this, and that's why I didn't go with the size enclosure. But for my own personal use, it works fantastic. Um, so all I've done is. Because I don't have the correct size clamps to clamp it to the pole, I've just used um, cable ties or zip ties, and then I've got the radio connection going to this radio plate, and I've got enough down, enough radials down, so this equals 19.2 quarter waves uh, on 40 meters, so should be reasonably efficient. Uh, so that's the setup with the wind jammer uh, five meter pole. Um, so let's go back into the shack and see if we could actually make a a first contact on the 705. Mexico, Mexico Zero, Ocean Papa X-Ray, QRP. Mike, Mike Zero, Oscar Papa X-Ray, QRP. Yeah, QSL, it's Mike Mike Zero, Ocean Papa X-Ray, Oscar Papa X-Ray. The name is Colin, Charlie, Oscar, Lima, Italy, November. Colin is the name and only running 10 watts, 10 watts from the IC705. Back to you, Foxtrot 4, Fox Japan Hotel, Mike Mike Zero, Oscar Papa X-Ray. Yeah, QSL, QSL, Colin, Mike Mike Zero, Ocean Papa X-Ray. This is a Florida 4, a Florida Japan Hotel. My personal name is Eric, like a co radio with Charlie, and you're 5 and 9. You're 5 and 9 here in the northwest part of France. The microphone back to you, Gordon Sauer. Yeah, great stuff there, Eric. Well, you're 15, but 15 dB over 9, uh, no problems at all there. Um, you're actually only my second QSO, second QSO on the IC705. 
Um, the antenna is a vertical uh, antenna. It's my own design, adjust the wave, um, linear loaded. So it's um, the antenna is only five meters high, but it's fully linear loaded back over on itself um, to get the uh, full quarter wave on 40 meters. So uh, really glad that uh, making the contact uh, tonight, Eric, over. Congratulations for your second QSO with uh, India Charlie 705, okay? Uh, good copy on your last transmission with a little bit of QRV, but I understood uh, you uh, 100%. Okay, Colleen, thank you for, for, my, for my tour. I send to you my best 73s and uh, good year. Thank you, Colleen. Thanks, Eric. 73s. Uh, Fox 4, Fox Japan Hotel. Mike, Mike, Zero, Oscar, Papa, X-Ray, clear. Bye-bye. Mike, Mike, Zero, Oscar, Papa, X-Ray, QRP. Again? Yeah, Mexico, Mexico, Zero, Ocean, Papa, X-Ray, QRP. Mike, Mike, Zero, Oscar, Papa, X-Ray, QRP. Good evening, thanks for call. 5757, a name is Ludo, Lima, Uniform, Delta, Oscar, over. Yeah, fine there, Ludo. You're 20 over 9, 20 dB over 9. The name is Colin, Charlie, Oscar, Lima, Italy, November, Colin. And only running 10 watts, 10 watts from the ICOM IC705 into a quarter wave vertical, over. Okay, Colin, no problem. Thanks for calling the report and the info and okay for your setup. Are using ICOM 7610, approximately 1 kilowatt. And three element Yagi and 15 meters of the ground beaming VKZL. Many thanks for call. Have a nice evening. Good weekend, good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Ludo 73. Mike, Mike, Zero, Oscar, Papa, X-Ray, QRP. Mike, Mike, Zero, Oscar, Papa, X-Ray. Uh, very good evening, my friend. Thank you very much for responding to my call. You are 5 by 9, 59, QSL. Yeah, QSL, you're 20 over 9, 20 dB over 9. The name is Colin, Charlie, Oscar, Lima, Italy, November, over. Yeah, QSL, QSL, you're 5959 nine, five, nine plus 20 dB. The name is Colin, Charlie, Oscar, Lima, Italy, November. Colin is the name, over. QSL, Colin, thank you very much. Thank you for the contact. Uh, stay safe, all the best. Uh, Mike, Mike, zero, Oscar, Papa, X-ray, four, Oscar, four, Tango, seven, three. Yeah, seven, three, bye-bye. Mike, zero, please, again. Yeah, Mike, Mike, zero, Ocean, Papa, X-ray. Okay, Damian, uh, name is Colin, Charlie, Oscar, Lima, Italy, November, only running 10 watts from the uh, 705. Wish you 73s, bye-bye. All the best, Colin, thank you. Sierra 52, whiskey, whiskey. Uh, some pictures of my antennas. So this is the state starting to come in. It's uh, 10 past 10 local time. Roger, Roger, thank you. Thank you for the information, Ray. Okay, uh, Ray, I have a question. Please, uh, can you uh, me, uh, give me a report about my audio? Is my audio correct? I, I'm using a Nivea uh, electric microphone, over. Your audio is very good. Uh, not, uh, it, uh, there is not excessive load. It's uh, good, uh, some good, uh, higher pitch. I don't think it's his frequency, uh, though. I think I would be struggling to work on, especially when he's running a two element uh, beam and uh, a kilowatt. So, just about to, uh, to pack in for the night. Um, it's been okay. Um, I've only got one, two, three, five contacts in the log, but, but that's okay. Um, so, I started off working um, uh, M0 PV down in the Isle of Wight, so that was actually the hardest contact to make. Um, I worked. Uh, one in France, one in Switzerland, one in Montenegro, one in Slovenia, all good reports, um, 57, 59, so that's, you know, perfectly good. Uh, that's, currently that's um, John, I think it is, uh, uh, Victor Yankee 2, Whiskey Whiskey. Um, 
he's varying between 5.7 and 5.9 uh, and he's trying to run a net um, there's a there's a South African ZS station there um, which I'm not hearing but uh, he's he's, uh, he's bringing contacts in for him um, so yeah so certainly um, so yeah so certainly the radio's working well um, the antenna's working well um, again it's only 5 metres high so what is that um, it's not even 18 feet um, and it's you know it's fully linear loaded for 40 metres so you know I don't see there being too many um, it being too uh, inefficient um, so yeah so I think the night's been a success um, it's getting really cold um, I'd like to stay out a lot longer and, and wait for North America to come in and I think I would have a chance of, of working some of them um, but uh, it's just getting too cold. My legs are getting pretty cold. My hands are absolutely freezing. So uh, I'm going to admit defeat. It's not too late. It's about it's 25 to 11 uh, local time. So so yeah, we're going to call it a night. But uh, there'll be plenty more chances uh, to come out and uh, to our radio. So um, until the next radio, uh, 73 for now.